Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. First batch that came out here, I feel like um, I feel like there there's a person who is wondering if you have any other options around you, okay? They're really freaked out. Um, they don't know if you have somebody new or not. Uh, this is somebody new coming into your life, and they're kind of waiting to see. Like, this is, your past person is stalking you, okay? They're thinking you've got other people around you. You might, but they don't know for sure. And it's really stressing this person out because they see you as their match. Another another thing they're thinking while they sit here and stalk you is that they're, they're, they've got this newfound respect for you, Okay. They really respect what you've done with your life. They respect how strong you've been. They respect the fact that you're now every queen in the deck on the Empress throne. Uh, with attracting, that's what the Empress does, you know. The Empress attracts new things to her. And I feel like that's what's happening here. And this person from your past, I feel like they know it. Um, and they see you as their ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? They see having it all with you, a dream life with you, okay? Everyone happy and loved, and um, I mean, this is ultimate happiness, comforts, wishes. This is everything here, and this is how this person sees you. But I feel like, you see, they're, they're, they don't know if you have other options around you or not. You may have a lot of other options that uh, it, that's what they're thinking. Because you're the empress, they don't know if you have new love around you or not here. And I feel like they're hopeful that they can like get still get an opportunity with you. But I feel like you're kind of in regret over this situation here. I feel like you are, and um, and I feel like. I feel like you you just regret all the pain that you've been through. I feel like this is your energy. And this person, you know, um they're going to they're about to have uh, you're about to have a new soulmate connection. I feel like you just don't want to feel this anymore. You've torn up somebody's picture here maybe. You're done, you're releasing. You could be doing some kind of um like um uh, like a cord cutting or something like that here. You could do, be doing something to help you break free from this connection. But I feel like this this person from your past, they're scared that you're going to get with someone else. That's what this is. They're scared that you're going to get with someone else. That they don't want that to happen. It's almost like they would want to delay this, right, from happening for you. They want to delay it. Um... They could be hearing some gossip about he, about you, about uh, like the miraculous things that you're doing in your life because you are in the Empress Throne. I just feel like you've got a whole new life that you're starting here, Collective, and this, this person from your past, they don't want you to be with anybody else. You know, yeah, they're feeling desperate out in the cold. They waited too long. They stood here with their back turned for far too long. They waited too long on this. Now this person, I feel like they're trying to hang on. They're trying to hang on to this connection collective, but I, I don't know that they can get back in. They're out here watching from, from the other side of a closed door. Um, they may be hopeful, but yeah, they're scared that this that they're blocked out. They're scared that this may be over. The wheel of fortune turned on its side. Are they going to come forward and close the cycle properly or not? They're watching you to see if you're with somebody else. If you are, it's your person. I don't think they can handle it. They're they're disgusted with themselves, disgusted at the fact that you could be getting love from somebody new. They've been hanging out in a safe zone. I feel like they're praying for you, too, because you're the one for them. That's too many cards. Yeah, this person, the thought of you being with someone else is literally making them feel sick. And they're keeping their own wheel uh, of fortune on delay here. 
Yeah, you're the one that they want. Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like um, you're wifey material here. There's not anybody who wouldn't want you. Empress energy, Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, I feel like, too, they're, they're kind of feeling pretty disgusted with themselves because of what they're losing here. Like, they're losing somebody who's very abundant, okay? With a lot of opportunities around you and a lot of power to manifest. So, um, yeah, I, this person's really stressed out. I feel like they want to come and talk to you. Um, they, they definitely want to see if you're with anybody else because they have no, they, they don't know. They have no idea if you're with someone or else or not. But they want to come and reunite collective. This person wants to get back together. That one wants to come out. Yeah, but they move too slow. They may have missed their opportunity. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like they just missed out. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting off of that. Yep, and I feel like you're grabbing a hold of a new beginning. You're holding on to a wand of passion. You may have a passionate new beginning with someone else. Some of you do. And, and if you do, this person is watching you, stalking you. They may even see you together and then go throw up. Seriously, they, they hate the thought of you being with someone else. It's literally making them sick. This person could be having headaches or a sick stomach right now. Yeah. I feel like um, you're about to have a new beginning with someone, someone else. I, I don't know what else to say. They've been too shy to approach, and they're, they're pretty angry about that, okay? They're really upset with themselves here. This person has put themselves under a lot of pressure. That's too many cards. Yeah, they're angry with themselves here. Um... There could be a tower moment that this person could face soon just because they've got to kick it in high gear. They've got to get moving on this. I feel like they can't stay in stagnancy stalking you all the time. They've got to do it because that's what they're doing. They're stalking you here. They're stalking you there. And they're just watching to see who comes towards you. And then they get upset because they think someone's coming towards you. This person, they need to take action. This new person coming into your life is going to take action for sure. You don't just let an empress keep sitting where they are. You're attracting new people, new situations towards you. You know, the longer you sit, um, that's the less time you'll be single because you're about to get snatched up by somebody new. You could be dealing with a fire sign that really wants to take some kind of action. I feel like there's a bunch of people that may want to take action towards you. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. I've got Scorpio energy out here. Gemini. Yeah. Cancer, Pisces. Take it how it resonates, though. You can be any sign for collective readings. If something pulled you into the title, there's something in this for you, right? Yeah, you're taking a new leap of faith. Some of you could even be um, moving away. Moving away to start a new journey. This, to me, is kind of like the Fool card um, in this deck, you know? Making bold moves. And I feel like some of you could be moving away, or this could be your person Feeling completely inadequate, uh, staying in a safe zone where, where they're used to, where they're comfortable, right? Um, and praying for you here. I feel like their comfort zone is going to come crumbling down. They've been sitting in this comfort zone for far too long. I'm seeing a major tower moment coming for this person, I got to say. So they can't sit there and pray for you and stalk you anymore. They're going to have to um, take some kind of action, okay? Because you're getting away, and uh, somebody else is going to realize your value, 
and they're coming in a new person is coming in here they know it your person from your past knows it. they're looking at you from a whole new perspective now looking at the situation differently because now they may feel stuck um, but it's it's them who's keeping themselves stuck right I feel like they're yeah so now it's like okay look I just here's what they're thinking I, if I just count to three and do it, just count to three and go for it. Not really worry about if I'm going to trip and fall. Not worry about if the collective is going to um, reject me or not. Not worry about anybody else in the picture. I just need to, I need to do it. I need to just do it already. That's what they're thinking. Okay, so this person could make a very, and here they come. With a cup of love. Well, we don't know if it's love in that cup yet. Um, but they're coming in to talk to you. Maybe give you an apology. Maybe tell you how they feel. Uh, they're about to make like an impulsive move, okay? Um, maybe without thinking things through. But honestly, they just don't have time to think things through anymore. They either come forward, right? And tell you how they're feeling. Or you're going to end up with someone else. Those are their two choices. That's it. And this person knows it. They know it. They're very, very depressed. Very depressed. Um, yeah, because you know what? They, they know that they're getting defeated here. And if you're seeing someone else, they may feel betrayed by you. I don't know how they could feel betrayed by you. It doesn't look like this person's made any kind of move towards you whatsoever. They're just standing back and stalking. That's all they're doing is watching you. They haven't spoken to you. I feel like there's been no communication. You know, but they may end up feeling betrayed because you're the one that they want. See, they see you as their forever person. But then they've got to show you something, though, don't they? Right? So I feel like this person... They're having, a, they're feeling defeated here, feeling defeated, depressed, sad, empty, numb, withdrawn. So I feel like they're kind of stuck in that energy and they're thinking to themselves, I got to do something about this. And that's what kind of lights a fire under them and gets them to come in really quick. Okay. An impulsive move, taking that risk, right? Because, you know, you're not going to talk. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is, this is this person's way of getting their courage up. Just count to three, right? Count to three, and here we go. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting out here. Otherwise, they will be um, defeated in this. They'll have a painful ending because you're not going to wait for them anymore. Yeah, I, I don't think you ever did. I don't think you ever waited. I think you were working on yourself this whole time on your transformation, on your creative ideas here. You could even be pregnant, but I just feel like you've got a lot of creativity and you're birthing new things. And I feel like this person had a chance to come towards an empress and make things right with an empress and reclaim um, the blessing that was given to them, okay? But they never did. And now it's like they may have to walk away feeling extremely burdened for the rest of their days. If they don't, they've got two choices. I've mentioned this before. They've got two choices. They can walk away burdened if they want to. You know, if they want to walk away burdened, that's their choice. Otherwise, if they want you, they've got to come forward. They've got to come forward, and they've got to do it quickly. They know this. They know this. So those are their, and look, on the bottom of the deck, a choice. You've got a choice, pal. you got a choice. You know, they may have, a, have been tempted by the snake here, too. But I feel like um, they, they know what, what they have to do. They're, they're listening to the messages that the divine is giving them. They know there's two ways they can go here. What do they want? Do they want to walk away carrying these burdens knowing that you're the person for them? Or do they want to come in, face their fears, tell you the truth about how they treated you, and try to win back an empress? 
They only have those two choices. Okay, sorry about the noise in the background, guys. My cat is over there somewhere snoring. <laughs> and he's a big cat, so he's, he's very loud, okay? Um, yeah, it's almost like, I feel like they're laying here praying on this. Because they're getting ready to pick up this four sword here and come in with this communication is really what I'm feeling like. Um... Yeah, they, and they're panicky, too. They don't know if they're going to get you back or not. They don't know if you're going to reject them or not. They don't know if you'll give them another chance, Collective, because they really hurt you. They broke your wing here. And I feel like before, they showed you no compassion over how they made you feel, but now they are, and they're panicked. They're all up in their emotions. They're drowning in their emotions here. I feel like they're worried about reaching out to you because of how they hurt you, okay? They, they may be wishing they could put all of this to rest, but in order to do that, they're going to have to confront the situation and, and tell you the truth about what they did, you know? Um, I feel like if this person comes towards you and, like, tries to get passionate with you, you're going to be like, nope, uh-uh, no, no. And maybe that's what you're going to be thinking. Does this person just want to use me? Okay, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Maybe that's what you thought. Maybe you thought this person was just using you in the past, so you've blocked them out already. You know, uh, you're not, this is no communication. I feel like they gave you, and that's how they hurt you. They came in with the wand, probably giving you empty promises, just wanting to share passion, and then they, they left again right away. It's almost as if they came in to use you, and you've had no communication since then. Okay? I feel like you may have blocked this person out. Yeah, they. I feel like they ghosted you, and they're really sad about this, you know? I feel like... Um, they didn't get away with it. I'm seeing this as the big old eyeball of the divine. I feel like this person is drained from this, feeling very fatigued. They're so they're exhausted. They're tired. Um, they could be having a health issue here. Um, but yeah, they're sad because they want this new beginning. And this person ghosted you. They ghosted you. They hurt you. They used you. This is what you're thinking, right? Yeah. I mean, how uh, how could you just easily trust them after this, you know? They betrayed you. They backstabbed you. They sabotaged this connection. They've done so much damage to this connection. It's sick. And this person is disgusted with themselves and feeling sick. Because of all that they've done. They know exactly what they did to you. I feel like this person's coming forward. I got to say, they're coming forward to heal this collective. You could be dealing with um, a Cancer. You could be a Gemini. Uh, you could be an Aries, Virgo energy. You could be a Leo, or that could be your person. Your person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe. Do you hear my cat? I don't know if you guys can hear him. He's great. You could be an Aquarius. I feel like, you know, um, they're coming in to talk, I gotta say, but I don't like how they're coming in. I don't like that they're angry. Maybe that's them being angry with themselves. Maybe it's because you're breaking down this person's ego. But they're coming right at the star, okay, with the sword up. And um, I don't know why they're coming at you angry. Clarify this Knight of Swords for the collective. Why are they coming at you angry? Oh, because you could be giving to others at, while they feel stuck. So this person could even be in another situation where they feel absolutely trapped and stuck. They could, it could be a karmic situation because they do feel kind of stuck here. 
And here you're out here giving to other people. That's why they're mad. Or they don't know who it is that you're with or if you, you're with someone because you're keeping your moves hidden right now. But that's why they're mad. If you are giving to someone else, that's it. That's it. They're, they're going to be really upset. Like, really upset. All right, what else can you show me here for the collective? Messages for the collective. Yeah, I'm probably the only person out here who doubles up decks. But um, this is working out beautifully, I gotta say. I don't want to take these in reverse, guys. I don't, I'm not reading reversals out here. Um, yeah, they wait, they made you wait too long. They made you wait too long. They could have underestimated you. This is the most underestimated person in the deck. You were working on something. You could have been in a financial struggle or a time in your life when you were struggling when this person met you. Um, and now you've built up your pentacles here. Um, yeah, you flipped into the Empress, okay? I feel like they left you waiting here, too, for too long. Thinking maybe, you know, they'd always see you in peasant clothing, they, that you weren't really uh, reaping any kind of, of harvest, right, for your hard work. Um, and I feel like they just thought that you didn't have enough to bring to the table, or they made you wait for far too long. And now the situation seems hopeless, now all they can do is watch you and not want to let you go. That's it. All they can do is watch you. This person's stalking you. You could be putting stuff out there on the internet, okay? Um, yeah, you could have some kind of podium out here, a public podium where you're doing something. They're watching everything that you put out there. And I feel like it's on a computer because of the box. And I feel like um, they know you make them happy. They're fascinated with whatever it is that you're doing. So I feel like this person is kind of learning from you maybe. And, um, and they do not want to let you go now. They don't want to let you go. Yeah, you're very spiritual. That's a big cup of spirit. Yep, you're a high priestess. Okay. So I feel like you could even be another tarot card reader. You could be a light worker, a healer, an empath, someone who has a big old cup of spirituality and love here. Uh, extremely intuitive, very connected to the divine. And I feel like um, that's how this person watches you. You're out here. You could be another reader or a spiritualist with like a... a um, a podium somewhere, okay? A platform. So you could you could like help guide other people. You're definitely a messenger here. Very, very intensely spiritual. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Gemini. Yeah, I feel like um I feel like this this person's coming towards you fast. Very fast. Because if they think that you're happy with someone else, because they're out here looking, right? Look at them with the flashlight here. They're out here looking. They're thinking heavy on this, okay? Virgo energy. I've got Aquarius out here. Leo could be dealing with any of those signs, okay? But I feel like um, this person still has the fire lit for you. They're still passionate about you. Um, and they're, they could be looking for you out in the community, okay? Doing a lot of thinking, kind of shut down. It's sort of like they don't really want to think or talk to anybody else. Just pay attention to you and watch what you're doing. That's all this person wants to do. That's, that's the only thing that puts a smile on their face, okay? But yet at the same time, it hurts this person because they don't want to let you go. Yet at the same time, they're disgusted with themselves and panicky because of how they treated you before. They made it too difficult for themselves to come back in, man. You know? They just, the, the way that they handled the situation before pretty much sealed their doom now. 
they, they did way too much to you in the past. So they really don't think that they can come back in. They really, they're going to try, but they don't think that you're going to, they think you're going to reject them is kind of the feeling that I'm getting. But yet at the same time, they don't want to let you go. This person's a mess in the head, I'm telling you. Really stressed out, stalking you, uh, fascinated by you, watching you like crazy. You're just doing your own thing, kicking back, right? Waiting for all your beautiful options to show up because things are attracted to you as the empress. Yet all this person can do is watch and be disgusted with themselves. You know, panicky, trying to hold on, that feeling desperate because they know that they're about to lose you. Yeah, the, it, and it's. I feel like your light kind of irritates them here. Whatever they're finding out about you too possibly irritates them here. The fact that you're happy without them, they're irritated. Okay? Whatever's coming to light. So whatever you're putting out there, I feel like it's irritating this person. But it's only because of how they treated you. It's really on them. Okay? It's on them. Because honestly, you're just out here getting your wishes fulfilled. And you're, this is why they're irritated, right? You're out here having a win. You're out here having a victory. You're very masterful at what you do. They know that. They can see it. They're fascinated by it. Um, and you're out here take, making bold moves, okay? Getting your wishes fulfilled. You're literally plucking them out of the sky collective. They see your glow up here. I mean, you're glowing so bright, they're absorbing that light. But this is why they're irritated, because you're out here happy without them. Winning. Winning. They don't like that. You know, they just want to get you in this boat. Get in my boat, collective. Come on, get in the boat, collective, right? But you know you're going to be face-planted in all of these burdens. Yeah, this person is aggravated, stressed out, a lot of anxiety, disgusted with themselves, wanting you back, knowing how bad they hurt it, they hurt you, and stalking you. That's what this person's doing right now. Trying to uh, get the courage up to come forward, okay? I feel like they are about to take a big risk. They are about to do something impulsive and come forward. Because this is driving them crazy. Yeah, look, they're guilty. They know they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. And, you know, I feel like when this person comes towards you, they're going to be coming, crawling with their tail between their legs because you don't just turn your back on a Ten of Pentacles. Once again, they could have it all with you. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups... But this person is guilty for the way they treated you. And I feel like they need to be coming back to make that right. Okay? It's they need to prove that they're worthy of these blessings and an empress. They need to get their courage up. You know, they need to make a bold move. They need to take some action. Or you... And all of your accomplishments and blessings and everything that you are as an empress, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. And that's, you know, coming from the higher font. Yeah. I feel like the, the higher font is out here saying, dude, you've got to, you've got to learn your lesson. You've got to pass your tests in order to move forward. In order to have a victory, you've got to make this right. If you know you're guilty of something, you go in and you apologize. How hard can it be? I mean, come on. How hard can it be? If you know you've hurt somebody so bad, you go and say, you know what? I know what I did really hurt you, and I am so sorry. It takes, abs it takes like hardly any time, and it doesn't cost anything. 
This person is being told, you got to do the right thing. If you know you're guilty, then you need to do the right thing. This person can no longer just hang out wherever they are in a comfort zone, watching you, stalking you, and hoping you don't end up happy with someone else. What is that? So, yeah, that's, what, that's the choice the divine is giving them. Make it right or lose your wish fulfillment.